How's it going guys and welcome back to Off The Grid. So, we are gonna head over to where we've been working and we're gonna grab the Ford and we are gonna do a bit of log selling today. So we'll probably get into a bit more um, actual, well, tree cutting and that sort of a thing. Um, or tree felling, I think is the correct term there. But um, yeah, we really just need to get rid of a lot of the stumps that's um, down the hill and also I might look into just changing the setup a little bit and see if we can make it a bit more efficient uh, so that the logs don't like scatter all over the place when we drop them at the bottom of the hill but we'll see when we get back so I do have a truck um, down where the logs are so we'll get that set up we have a nice big truck and trailer uh, but we're gonna need the Ford uh, to load them up my only concern is I don't know if the Ford will actually have the reach to um, yeah, get over the side of the trailer. I think it'll be okay, but um, yeah, I'm not 100% sure. I'm a little bit worried about that, but anyway, we'll see. If not, we'll, we'll figure it out. We need to maybe make a little ramp or something. That'll be fine as well, but yeah. And um, the plan is still to just get the rest of the trees um, cleared out of that area. I think we're not going to bother with, like, the little hill on the left-hand side if you're looking from the road in. Um, I was going to clear some of that out as well, but um, we can always do that um, by hand later on with our own equipment. I think for now, I sort of want to get just the, the majority of the job done so that we can start making a little field. Um, in their fields, we'll probably make multiple. I think we'll probably end up with about three fields there. Um, so that we can make some um, some grass. Maybe we will do two grass fields though. Uh, one of which we can maybe make into silage. The other we can just make some grass bales. Because uh, if we do get sheep, um, which I kind of want to, then um, it'll be handy to just have a nice grass field as well. But then silage would be nice as well so we can sell that off. I don't think we'll get into like um, straw um, or hay for that matter. Um, straw maybe, hay I don't think we will. Um, I'm not planning on getting cows or anything like that anytime soon anyway. And um, so yeah we won't really be needing that. So I think the big thing would be um, silage just for well the money. We'll actually sell that, probably not really use it and then um, grass to feed the sheep and then something else um, some arable crop uh, like I said we can maybe get some straw um, off of that if we do like a wheat or a barley or something like that um, right so that's the truck over there I think the best is gonna be maybe um, if we reverse this back Sort of park it sideways and um, but yeah we're gonna have to I'm I'm kind of eager to get pigs on the farm as well the problem is feeding them um, I don't know if we'll actually be able to to feed them with the space that we have and what will be sort of growing I'm not a hundred percent sure on that we'll see how it goes anyway right and um, maybe if we go mm, that tree's a bit of a problem there okay we'll load the sort of front of the the truck first um, at least partially and then that'll create a bit more space to load the rear there eh, although could maybe be okay right let's see if we're actually gonna have the reach to do this properly so we should in theory get a decent payday um, off of these logs I definitely don't think we'll be able to um, to load all of this in a single go I think we're probably going to have to do a few trips. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, the grapple on this is not... It's not great. Um, I can't really see where the, the end of that log is. I think we're about right there. Oh, no. We're hitting the, um, the top of the trailer there, I think. Yeah, right. Um, that's a bit of a problem. Yeah, we're never going to make that. Hmm. Right.
Not good. I thought that might be a problem. And that is, um, even if we tilt that all the way up, I don't think we'll clear it. Nope. Right, hey. So, um, that means we're renting more equipment. Fun. Expensive is what it is. Um, damn yet. I, I thought we would get away with it, but I, I was concerned, I'll be honest. Anyway, right. Um, I'm gonna have to find out what's available um, and get something down here. So, um, yeah, we'll be back in a little bit. All right, well, they really came through and brought us this. Now, that looks pretty fun. I just drove it there and sort of moved it around a, bit of, a little bit to figure out the controls, but I think that's gonna be really, really cool. And I also moved the truck a little bit closer. Um, it'll make it easier for us to, to load up. But, um, yeah, I, um, I think this is gonna be pretty fun to play with, but I'll be honest, I'm starting to dread the bull at the end of all this. I think it's gonna be pretty expensive. Anyway, the job needs doing, and um, yeah, we might as well get the right equipment for the job. So if I work this out correctly, we should be able to just um, whoop, drop right, um, right about there. Okay, this is gonna take a bit of figuring out. I think we only um, lifted one log there. Should be able to grab a few of the, at a time. The the grapple isn't like massive on it, uh, but it's not bad. There we go, I think we've got a few there, although I think we might actually drop some of them. Let's try and not do that. Okay, I need to drop it down a little bit just so that I can see sort of where I'm at. I want to try and get it as close to... Um, hmm, I'm going to drop some of that literally outside the trailer. Let's, uh, let's not do that. Let's bring them inwards a little bit okay ah oh, now I'm on the um, yeah got a bit weird on the grapple there we go Ooh, this is um this is very new okay that's not good and yeah, it's fine we'll pull that out lid on but um yeah this is um, very new haven't used one of these before so a little bit of getting used to the, the controls and all, but pretty cool. Yeah, I do think um, I do think we're gonna have a hefty bull towards um, the end of all of this operation. Oh, that wasn't very good. Okay, and pull that back. Oh, this is um, this is tricky to use because if you sort of bring it closer, it also um. It also drops down, so it's a bit hard to figure out exactly um, how to operate this thing. Generally, I pick up with these things um, quite quickly. Um, usually, I'm not too bad, um, but yeah, it should take me only a few minutes to really get used to it. And like I say, haven't used one of them before, so... Oh, didn't grab anything there, that's no good. I think the, the trick here really is to um, get the truck into the right position. Okay, we just dropped just about every single log that we lifted. Fantastic. Um, but yeah, if you, um, if you get the truck into like the right position here, then in theory it should make life a little bit easier. And we drop around there, I think. Oh, I think we dropped one outside the trailer. Anyway. Um, yeah, I, I, like I said, I think that's sort of the key here is um, positioning the, the trailer correctly so that you don't actually have to move the machine uh, forwards and backwards. At least, that's what I think. Again, not a pro here, but trying. Okay. Uh, be okay there, beautiful. Right, that was a good load. That was um, that was not bad. So yeah, the um, the yarder. Let's say I think I might reposition it a little bit just to see if we can um, 
get a bit of a neater pile at the bottom here because it's been quite um quite time consuming like i mean it's worked fine but it's been quite time consuming sort of getting everything into um into position yeah, that didn't quite go according to plan i think we might just be a smidge closer um to the the truck um that i would like to be um but yeah it's it's been working fine ish um it's just um like i said it's been a bit if i grab that more towards the middle it's been a bit messy and time consuming to sort of get everything in a nice little neat pile like we have over here now um so i would try and maybe just iron that out yeah right it's not getting the claws in there to try uh, a little bit closer here kind of feels like i'm in one of those um those machines where you usually like grab onto something like those little arcade machines whatever they're called feels like i'm operating one of them where you sort of have to grab like well i don't know back in the day it was like little teddy bears or something like that and um, these days it's probably iphones or something i don't know but um feels like i'm operating one of them and then just as it gets to the top you'll sort of grab it just as you get to the top it drops it um kind of the same thing here All right i was never great at those machines and kind of feels like i'm i'm not too great at this one either i say practice makes perfect or so they say yeah i'm not, I'm not gonna just go for one there a little bit better oh we got a, a bonus one in there there we go that dropped okay yeah so i'm thinking we're probably gonna have to um end up doing about three or so trips um i think this truck can hold a decent amount uh, by the looks of it anyway but um yeah we still have quite a oh yeah okay we, we've got a lot here i mean we're getting through it oh that actually worked out okay i mean it's not perfect but that'll be fine we're gonna strap it down anyway so that shouldn't fall out on the way down um yeah maybe two loads i think we can get all of this on two loads i think it'll be okay yeah right um i think what we are gonna do though is we're gonna try and get this knocked out and we'll take it all in for selling just move that one out of the way and um, so yeah we are gonna jump into a quick time lapse and i'm gonna see if i can get a bit more comfortable with this thing and um yeah get this all loaded up see if we can um, get it all done in two loads that would be fantastic because it is quite a drive um, it takes a, a good long while uh, to get down to the mall and where the shop is and everything so um yeah i, I want to sort of minimize the amount of trips as much as possible but, yeah anyway we are going to jump into a time lapse and get all of this knocked out get it sold and we'll come back to the farm where we'll we'll leave the equipment back in and um, because the longer we have it for the more we have to pay basically and um, so yeah we'll leave the equipment in when we're done and um yeah then we'll we'll come back see if we can get a bit more logging done oh and um probably reposition the yarder so yeah we're gonna do that uh, but we're gonna jump into that time lapse so for now sit back relax and enjoy
Job done, everything loaded up, everything sold, and we ended up taking two full loads. They were very full, and we very nearly got stuck twice um, with the truck, but it actually had pretty good traction. I think it's also because of the weight um, of the logs, but um, yeah, we ended up making 57,000 out of those two loads, which is fantastic. That's really, really good. Obviously, we've still got a lot of expenses that's going to come out of that, so that's not 57,000 profit. But, um, yeah, that's good money. Uh, I think there'll definitely be um, a good percentage of profits out of that. So, yeah, very happy with that. Uh, everything's cleared out at the bottom there. And um, the grapple and the truck is back um, to the, the renter. So, yeah, that's um, we'll get that back again at some point. But I think what we'll do is we'll clear out the rest of the trees and get everything down the hill, have one big pile again, and um, get the, the grapple and the truck back in one last time but yeah the grapple was um was pretty good it's it's definitely something to get used to but um yeah not too bad i think if you if you have a few hours on that you'll probably become um quite efficient with it but yeah it, it wasn't too bad in the end but anyway right so i had a quick look over here and there's about five trees or so that i want to take out real quick because if we do that, then we would have basically broken through to the bunker area there. And I just want to see that area cleared out. As I said, obviously there's still a lot of trees that, um, that we'll need taken care of. But um, yeah, at least it's a start. It'll be like a breakthrough. Um, feel a bit, um, a bit more significant if we have a little breakthrough here. Feel like we're actually making some proper progress. Yeah, I do think that I'll probably do most of um, the tree felling that's left, which is a lot. But I'll probably do most of that off camera. Maybe not all of it, but most of it, I would say. Because um, there's some, some other things that I want to get back into. I want to get the... Um, basically that hole back there. Um, I want to get that filled, filled in and get the space ready for where we want to put the um, the little garden or greenhouse or whatever we want to put there and um, again haven't really made up my mind 100 percent on that definitely not set in stone or anything but um yeah have a few ideas but i want to get that hole filled in and basically the landscaping uh, is what i'm trying to say i want to get the the rest of the landscaping done we need to finish off that road as well uh, have that road running behind the bunker and uh, we need to get that done and um, yeah, just sort of get the um, get the basics done here. I mean, it's it's a lot of basics. It's, it's a lot of work that needs to go into it. But it really is the basics because as soon as we have that done, we can sort of start with uh, the little construction jobs and sort of decide what we want to put there and um, get that up and going. And also start getting some of the fields done 
because I think we're probably going to end up doing about three fields in this area. Uh, thinking, uh, like we, we spoke about previously, maybe two grass fields and one arable or something like that. But um, yeah, we really just need to get this job done so that we can move on to those sort of things. So yeah, I think, um, I think we do have quite a bit of content so far um, on the whole logging process. So I don't think, um, I don't think you guys will be missing out on anything if I do most of, um, of what's left off camera. So I don't want to, don't want to draw it out unnecessarily but yeah there really is still a lot of trees that needs taken care of and i mean again like cutting them down here that's not really the problem i mean that goes pretty quick i mean this is our fourth tree already and uh, that we've done probably in about three four minutes so yeah it goes really quick i think we can probably process even by bringing the trees this far back from where we cut them i think we're probably processing about two trees a minute that's not really the issue. The issue is getting them down the hill and getting them down to the mill and that sort of thing. So, yeah. That is um, very time consuming. But, yeah, it's fine. It's it's not a bad job. I, I really enjoy it. It is just time consuming. Yeah. Okay. yeah. That's a big tree there. Okay. That's the last one that I want to take down right now. Get that pulled over and processed. It's really hard, I sort of have to um, guess where I am in terms of the positioning with the logs here because there's no mirror on this thing and you can't see anything behind you. It's literally just engine. So um, yeah, it's all a bit of a guessing game and I'm, I'm fearful of running into the Massey there. But haven't done it so far, touch wood. But um, yeah, it, it's a little bit scary just flooring it in reverse. And then sort of guessing where you are. I try to sort of focus on little little landmarks uh, to know where my sort of turning point is. But yeah, anyway. Right. So that is, I think that was about five trees done. Uh, so that's a nice, nice little pile there. We'll get that pushed down with the Ford, uh, which I did bring back up, obviously. I wasn't going to walk that. But um, yeah, there we go. That is the breakthrough. Fantastic. I don't think I would see that open for a while look at that that's a lot of space there so yeah this is the hole that i was talking about earlier that we need to sort of fill in and so we've got a lot of landfill there and we've got a bit over here as well and that we can fill in we'll obviously have to take those two trees out but i don't think we'll be able to get the machine in here we'll have to do them by hand but that's fine and um, but yeah if we can sort of fill this in live it level it out that'll be a nice little area for like a greenhouse or something like that and then this road here needs finishing. So we're going to run that through to that end. Which just means we don't have to run our road here. Which means we can bring the field a lot closer to the bunker. And maximize that space. So yeah. But I think that was a pretty successful day there. We made good money. And obviously we've still got a lot of trees that we need to sell as well. So I think we'll definitely be in the profits. I don't know by how much. Um, but yeah. We're going to have to invest uh, into some equipment anyway. Because at the moment we only have a really small plow for the Massey. And there's a lot of plowing work that's going to need doing here. So I don't know if that's going to be enough. We'll give it a go, but I think it's going to be very slow going. So maybe we'll get a ripple or something that we can put behind the Ford uh, just to speed that process up. But yeah, we're going to need to get a few things um, to sort of utilize this area. So yeah, not, not exactly money that we can just go spend on really cool, nice stuff. We'll probably have to buy a lot of secondhand stuff just to um, sort of keep going. But anyway, I think we're going to leave it there for today. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you all next time.